So guys, I've come to the realization that when I'm doing these unboxings, you can really only see what the f mom. Hello? I'm literally walking. So guys, I've come to the realization that you can only really see the top half of my body while I'm doing these unboxing videos. You really wouldn't be able to tell if I was wearing no pants. So today is an experiment. I'm not wearing any pants. It was a joke, it was a joke, calm down. Everyone calm down, here are my shorts. All right, here's my ass. It was a joke, all right? But let me segue that into our unboxing today which is related to pants. An unboxing from Beast Pants. Beast Pants is a very famous company from California that makes fingerboards. Uh, he has released like 13 stocks now, something like that. And um, this one was one of his biggest. And I copped a pretty interesting deck. I've received this like five days ago and I still haven't unboxed it because I was just too lazy to get around to doing it. But I'm too excited for this deck now and I'm super excited to try it out. So we're gonna unbox this today. By the way guys, I'm using the fisheye on the new camera. I'm sorry if it's a little shaky. The rig that I have it on makes it a little shaky. I'm gonna find a more permanent solution for this, but at the moment, this is the best fisheye I can do. By the way, tell me if you guys wanna see a pantsless episode. <laughs> Let's get into this thing. I love the fisheye shot, but I hate having to manually focus it every time I want it to focus on something, but you know, I do what y'all want. Y'all want the, the fisheye, I'll give y'all the fisheye. Let's get into this thing. Let's just dump it out here. Oh my god, there's vinyls everywhere, which I am a big fan of. Oop, let's let's look at some of these vinyls real quick, guys. It's a nice little vinyl. Little Beast Pants there. I really don't know why he calls it the company Beast Pants. I've never really known. I've always wanted to ask him, but I never have. And then it looks like we got some smooth tape. Kind of feels like sponsor me tape almost. And here's the deck right here. Let me see, did I get a piece of that collaboration tape? Oh, I didn't. I got the sticker sheet though. Awesome little sticker sheet with all the cool Beast Pants stickers. That's awesome. And then so many of these vinyls. Let me just push that to the side. Here we got the deck. I really like this packaging, it's super clean. I love the color scheme as well and the artwork on there. Boom, Feral Beast Pants. I actually got a 29 millimeter deck. Let me read what's on here. Feral Beast Pants, real wooden skateboards for tiny elves. I'm not a tiny elf, but you know, I respect it. Beast Pants fingerboards are finally crafted by hand. Blah, 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 all this information on the back. All that, all that jazz. But yeah, it's this nice little packaging. I've never had a new Beast Pants before. I've had one um, given to me for free by someone well, we don't speak about anymore. This is super cool, dude. I'm super excited for this. I really wanted this. And um, I saw it on his website and there was like in this graphic, Feral, and then there was 29. And I DM'd him and I was like, did you accidentally put 29 meant domesticated? Is this an accident? And he said, no, 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 dude, we got, we got a 29. So you know what? I copped it, and I'm excited. Let's get into this thing. Let's bust it out. I'm not all too hype on uh, the bottom ply of this deck. Like, the graphic is cool and all, but, like, the natural color of the bottom of this deck, I'm not the biggest fan of. The top ply color, I'm a really big fan of. Like, that's super, super cool. Extremely nice color to that. The plies are pretty nice as well. There's a nice little green ply in the center here. I'm not sure if y'all could see that. The graphic is super nice. I've always really liked this graphic. There's some that I like more like the Cassius Hurst one, but I really wanted this one because it was in 29. So I'm super stoked that I could get it. The shape is, as you can see, it's not too mellow. It's not like his domesticated shape, which is like extremely mellow, but like his feral shape isn't too high kicked. It's more like medium all around, but the dips look really good on the nose. And man, this thing is just crafted really, really well. No flex at all. Just feels like a super, super solid deck. Ooh, I'm hyped to set this up, man. I'm super hyped to set this up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my 29 BRTs on here. Maybe some Joy Cults, I don't know, and um, some FBS. So let's do this. Let's get into the review. Here we go. All right, guys, I set up the deck. I put the red 29 millimeter BRTs on there and some white Blem Joy Cult wheels and also threw on the little Joy Cult sticker right here. And of course, FBS on top. I didn't really want to do anything special. I just kind of 
slapped on a clean sheet because I thought it would look good. The red trucks don't match perfectly, but they look okay. But it still looks it still looks really, really good. A really solid, clean setup. I've been flicking it around for a little bit here, and I have formed my opinion on this thing. And uh, all I can say is that it's amazing. It's incredible, better than the Berlinwood 29, and feels very similar to my Collier 29, actually. It's got a lot shorter of a shape, I feel, than the Berlinwood 29. It feels about 96 or 97, while the Berlinwoods are like 99-ish. And um, this 29 feels like a 30 millimeter, to be honest with you. It doesn't feel exactly 29, it feels about 30 millimeter. But the shape is incredible. I love the roundness, even though it's a little bit it seems slightly not uniform at the top, like it kind of peaks at the top, like almost at a point instead of like a round hill kind of thing. Other than that, it, it's a wonderful deck. It's lacquered perfectly, it's shaped perfectly, the sanding's perfect, um, the roundness of it, the shape of the deck, as we all know, the ferrule is one of the most iconic shapes in, in fingerboarding at the moment. Probably one of the best 29s I've ever tried. Unfortunately, I can't compare it to my Collier 29 right now because I've loaned it to my buddy Lane, who's in California right now, so there's no way for me to <laughs> compare it. Maybe when I go out there, oh, I've said too much. The technicality of this deck just feels really, really good. It rotates like crazy. I keep doing over kickflips like that because it just rotates so much, but I love the feral shape a lot. And I love how round the nose and tail is, because on this other feral that I had, it was a little pointy, and I didn't, I didn't really care for it too much. But it feels really good. I tried Nolly Trays on this thing. They also feel extremely good. My Nolly Trays are still very ugly, but they feel okay. But it's just, it's just incredible. This deck feels so, so good. The countersinks were great as well. These trucks went in no problem whatsoever. I wish there were a different color, like a, like a green maybe. That would be really cool. But it's just such a nice setup. It's such a solid feeling deck, and it's a very lightweight too for a five ply. Not only because it's a 29 millimeter, but these decks are pressed so well that they just feel like feathers, like literally one of the lightest boards I have. Let me let me try some tricks real quick. Let me try a couple difficult tricks. Let's go for the Nolly Heel test. You guys know, Nolly Heel first try, you have to like the video. It is a requirement, no questions asked. Here we go. All right, don't like the vid, I'm just kidding. Please still like the video. Second try, Sundays, but it's a Tuesday. Like the video for a second try Sundays, guys. This deck has completely met every expectation I had for Beast Pants. The hype is actually real, and I seriously suggest y'all considering getting one of these in the next stock he drops. It's a definitely worth that steep price tag. Because I, I will admit, it's a little steep. It's a little steep, but it lives up to the hype, and it's definitely worth that price tag, 100%. Uh, the only real gripe I had with this deck was the top ply. The Beast Pants logo and like the little feral thing that you write on top was a little faded. I wish it was a little brighter and more like poppy so that I would you know have incentive to do a grip gap. But it's okay. It's still 100% amazing. Overall, guys, Amazing deck. Please go follow this guy on Instagram. Go check out his next stock and when it's coming out He always does updates on Instagram. Follow him here. Thank you so much for like 22,000 subscribers almost 23 now. It's nuts. I love y'all so much. I'll see y'all at SoCal G8 session <laughs> Okay, I've said too much. All right. Peace